huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get straight into it. Have you ever sat at your desk, staring at your notes, and thought to yourself, why do some people ace their exams effortlessly, while I'm left putting in hours of hard work just to keep up? Maybe you've even thought, what do they know that I don't? Well, let me introduce you to Ayana Koji Kiyotaka, a character who's not just good at studying, but has completely mastered the art of learning. Now, what if you could do the same? You see, there's a method, a system, that explains why some people achieve exceptional results without working themselves to exhaustion. It's not luck, and it's not about being born smarter. It's about how to work with your brain instead of against it. So today, I'm going to walk you through Ayano Koji's Advanced Study Framework, a step-by-step -step guide that combines biological optimization, strategic techniques, and environmental mastery to give you the edge you've been searching for. And here's the best part. This isn't just theory. It's practical, science-backed, and proven to work. Oh, and as a bonus, stick around until the end and I'll even reveal how you can gain an almost unfair advantage using a tool so advanced even Ayano Koji himself would approve. The first thing we're going to talk about is your environment. Why? Because no matter how strong your willpower or how advanced your study techniques are, your environment will always have the final say in how focused and productive you can be. Just think about the white room. Everything there was designed to eliminate distractions and amplify focus. And for you to do the same, we're going to have to start with something unexpected, lighting. Have you ever considered how much the lighting in your room affects your focus? It might seem trivial, but it's one of the most underrated tools for transforming your workspace into a product Activity powerhouse. In Ayana Koji's training environment, the bright, intentional lighting wasn't just there for aesthetics. It actually triggers the release of dopamine, norepinephrine, and just the right amount of cortisol, which puts the brain in a state of sharp focus and alertness. Now imagine if you could replicate this in your own space. For that, you first have to always keep your overhead lights on when you work. This is scientifically proven to activate specific cells in your eyes called melanopsin ganglion cells. These cells communicate directly with your hypothalamus, the part of your brain responsible for making you feel awake and focused. But that is not all. If you're working on a screen, turn the brightness all the way up, and if you really want to invest in your focus, consider getting a bright LED or ring light. The blue light they emit is perfect for stimulating those focus-enhancing cells. But here's the thing. Even even the best artificial light can't compete with the power of natural sunlight, so if you have a window near your desk, position your workspace to face it. Better yet, open the window. Why? Because looking at sunlight through glass is 50 times less effective at boosting alertness. The glass filters out critical wavelengths of blue light that your brain needs to wake up. Of course, bright light isn't always beneficial. Before bed, keep your room dim to avoid disrupting your sleep cycle. Now let's talk about something you probably haven't considered, where you're looking. Your focus improves when you're looking at something slightly above of eye level. That's because the neurons controlling eye movement are linked to areas of your brainstem that control alertness. So, to leverage this, elevate your screen or book by a few inches so you're naturally gazing upward. Also, sit up straight. I know it's tempting to sink into your chair, but a slouched posture sends your brain into a low energy state. Think about it. Even as you're watching this video, how are you sitting? If you are slouching, then straighten your back, lift your screen, and notice the difference in how engaged you feel. Finally, let's address your environment as a whole. Look at your desk right now. How many unnecessary items are on it? Each piece of clutter might not seem like a big deal, but collectively, they're draining your mental energy. In the white room, the environment is stripped of distractions. You can replicate this by keeping only the essentials within reach and banishing your phone to another room. Yes, your phone. The friction of having to physically get up to retrieve it will dramatically reduce the number of times you impulsively reach for it. Now, before we move on to biological optimization, let me show you something that Ayana Koji would definitely appreciate. A efficiency, and precision in action. If you've ever thought about building your own website, blog, or online store, Squarespace is the ultimate tool to help you do it, no matter your skill level. I've tested it myself, and with their Blueprint AI tool, it feels like having your very own white room instructor for web design. With it, you can create a personalized, professional website in no time, one that truly reflects your goals and ambitions. Whether you want to share ideas, sell products, or connect with your friends or audience, Squarespace makes it seamless. Now, another feature that truly stood out to me is their courses option, which lets you design and sell your own courses with tools that make the process smooth and intuitive. And with Squarespace payments, managing transactions is effortless, giving your audience multiple ways to pay while keeping everything streamlined for you. So, if you're ready to build something as methodical and effective as the strategies we discuss on this channel, head to squarespace.com slash methodical mind and use the code methodical mind to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. 
Imagine flipping a switch in your brain, making it more flexible, alert, and ready to absorb knowledge. That's the power of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to adapt and grow. But here's the important part. Neuroplasticity doesn't just happen. Your brain needs to be in the right state, alert, yet focused. So let me show you a quick science-backed breathing technique to kickstart neuroplasticity. Take 25 to 30 deep breaths by inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. On the last breath, exhale fully and hold for 15 to 60 seconds. Then take a single deep inhalation and hold again for a moment. When doing this, you effectively flood your system with epinephrine, the chemical that jumpstarts your brain's adaptability. And by the way, don't just hear about this. Try it right now and feel the difference for yourself. Now that your brain is primed, let's talk about focus. You already know focus is crucial for studying, but have you ever tried sharpening it in just 30 seconds? Here's how. Pick a single point in your room and stare at it for 30 to 60 seconds. Blink naturally, but let your gaze stay fixed. This exercise aligns your cognitive processes by limiting distractions and narrowing your mental bandwidth, so you can think of it as a kind of warm-up for your brain. But here's the thing about focus. It's not just about going full speed ahead. Sometimes the best way to learn is to do nothing. That's where the gap effect comes in. When you take short 10 second breaks during study sessions, your brain doesn't stop. It replays the information you just learned at 10 times the speed, which solidifies those neural connections. On top of that, these micro pauses also help your brain make new connections and spot solutions you might have missed. So, next time you're studying, remember that a little nothing can go a long way. Now, let's talk about something that happens after you finish studying, but has a massive impact on what you retain. Adrenaline spikes. Right after learning, introduce a controlled stressor to signal to your brain that the information is important. For example, you could drink a cup of coffee or take a quick cold shower. That jolt of adrenaline they both release acts like a highlighter for your brain, which marks the the newly learned material as essential. Finally, let's seal it all in with non-sleep deep rest, or NSDR, a method designed to supercharge your memory and replenish your focus. During NSDR, your brain shifts into a state of deep recovery, which consolidates what you've learned and prepares you for the next round. You can try things like guided meditation, deep breathing, or progressive muscle relaxation. And there are a lot of free protocols on YouTube, so there really is nothing stopping you from starting today. Now, before we move on to the most exciting part of this framework, keep this in mind. If you're serious about mastering biological optimization, don't just watch this section once. Rewind it, take notes, and put these steps into practice. The difference you'll feel is undeniable. Ayano Koji's edge lies in his efficiency, and with AI, you can tap into that same advantage. Imagine having a system so advanced, it's like having your own white room instructor guiding you step by step. That's the potential of AI. Yet, it's baffling how few people fully embrace it for learning. Most see AI as a curiosity or a shortcut, but here's the truth. AI is a tool, and if you know how to use it, it can become your ultimate ally in dominating your studies. Today, I'm going to show you how to harness its power step by step to make learning easier easier, faster, and far more effective than you ever thought possible. Let's start with previewing, one of the simplest yet most overlooked strategies. Research shows that familiarizing yourself with a topic before class drastically improves comprehension and engagement. Here's where AI steps in. Ask ChatGPT for a clear, concise outline of the topic you'll be covering. Something like, provide me with a simple and understandable overview of topic X. Then take a moment to read the output and to really engage your brain. Think of critical questions about what you just read. You don't even need to actively search for the answers. Just let those questions linger. Your subconscious mind, your rapid response unit, will work on them in the background while you're doing other tasks like walking or showering. It's basically like putting your brain on autopilot learning mode. Now, let's move beyond ChatGPT to one of the most underrated AI tools, image generators. These are a game changer when it comes to memorization. Here's how it works. Break a complex topic into smaller chunks, and then use an AI image generator to create visual representations of each piece. For example, if you're studying photosynthesis, create images that symbolize the process, like roots as straws drinking water, or leaves as open mouths inhaling CO2 bubbles. Why does this work so well? It's based on the dual coding theory, which shows that combining visual and verbal information reinforces memory and understanding. By creating prompts for the images, you're actively engaging with the material, and when you review those visuals, you activate different neural pathways, which makes recall effortless. But let's get back to ChatGPT though, because it has one more superpower. 
creating analogies. We naturally learn better when we can relate new information to something we already know, and analogies naturally tap into these existing schemas in your brain, making concepts easier to grasp. Without AI, creating effective analogies could take forever. But now, just type. Generate five analogies to explain concept X from different perspectives and highlight their strengths and weaknesses. Want to go even deeper? Ask ChatGPT to include both verbal and visual elements in the analogy and use these as inspiration for creating AI-generated visuals. Together, this approach simplifies complex topics while reinforcing them from multiple angles. But learning doesn't stop there. Testing yourself is critical to solidify what you've learned and pinpoint gaps in your understanding. Here, ChatGPT can generate multiple choice questions, fill in the blank exercises, or even true false statements tailored to your study material. Finally, let's talk about the ultimate AI feature, creating personalized study plans. Whether it's for school or a new language you've always wanted to master, ChatGPT can design a syllabus for your exact needs. Just include details like your current level, your goals, and your time frame, and let AI do the rest. For example, if you're learning a language, specify whether you want to focus on speaking, reading, or writing. The more precise your prompt, the better your results. And remember, always think critically about what AI provides. Evaluating its output is part of the learning process. If this video gave you new insights, make sure to subscribe for more protocols like this one. Together, we'll unlock your full potential, one step at a time. You got this, bro.